US cents, 58 euro cents and 50 pence sterling. Now for more on finance, Rod North joins us from Bourse Communications. Rod North, good morning. Good morning, Virginia and Joe. Business confidence seems to be pretty high. Yes, it does. I mean, that was a good figure to get for July, which pretty much indicates that uh, with a, a positive move by six points to plus 10, uh, that uh, sees us in a very good uh, position, I think, moving forward. I mean, earlier in the year, uh, in about uh, February, we were at minus 30. So it just shows you how quickly things can turn around. And when these surveys are conducted on a monthly basis, you get a really a dynamic view of, of what people's expectations are in terms of confidence. And you've got Dun & Bradstreet backing that up too. Yes, you have. You've had you know, business expectations and business confidence. So with the business expectations uh, report from Dun & Bradstreet, what you've got there is you've got businesses uh, telling the market what they expect to see going forward. And I mean, their uh, indicative uh, view is that, uh, that they think that uh, sales and profits in their businesses will be performing better over the next sort of six months of the year. It sounds like a strange kind of confidence trick because uh, businesses will be looking at their books at the moment and trying to assess their forward orders and wh what, what they should or shouldn't be procuring and what, what you know, cash flow they should, they should lose. They're being told, look, things are looking up. Their books don't actually show that. So it's, it's some sort of leap of faith they're being asked to take. It, it, that's true, Virginia. And I think one of the key issues too is I think uh, businesses are still looking for some guides uh, from the Reserve Bank and, and also the government about mm you know, whether the Reserve Bank's going to move earlier on interest rates and, and put them back up or whether there's going to be any more stimulus. So I think a lot of businesses are still looking for being further convinced about whether they should start and employ people uh, moving forward. You know, they, they, want, they want to know what the outlook's going to be. So, so a NAB monthly survey doesn't necessarily do it? No, I don't think it, I don't think it does. And I think it's interesting because, I mean, the Reserve Bank's got a, a bit of a situation to deal with at the moment yeah. because if we recall back in late 2007, they put rates up uh, and again in early 2008. And at that time, they were criticised for doing that because that actually uh, started a bit of a downward spiral in terms of, you know, the way businesses saw things then. So they've got to be very careful now as to when they move on rates. And I think, uh, I think a lot of businesses would like to see the rates stay at around this level for a while so they can keep that rebuilding process and then they'll be more convinced to start and employ people. And then we'll start to see, as you suggest, uh, you know, the performance indicating, uh, you know, that those businesses are starting mm. to do well because the sales will start to increase, people start to spend money again. Now, why didn't you tell me to buy some flight centre shares a couple of days ago? Because well, it would be a breach of ABC <laughs> editorial guidelines? Well, well, that's right, Joe, and that would be inside information and that wouldn't be too good. But certainly, uh, to there's been some quite spectacular results coming out already with the reporting season. I mean, uh, both Flight Centre and JB Hi-Fi yesterday, particularly uh, JB Hi-Fi, uh, reported a 45% increase in profit and increased their dividend by 70%. But then they said that they still expect sales for the next six months of the year to December to be up 20%. Now, JB Hi-Fi is a bit of a different company in respect to the fact that a lot of people, perhaps in this uh, recessionary climate, have spent more time at home. Yeah. So they've gone out and spent more on those consumer goods. But to say that the sales are likely to increase in the next six months, I think, is a pretty good prediction. Uh, and also with Flight Centre, I mean, that's uh, they were guidance figures that came out and the shares went up. So that was uh, 20, very interesting. 20% or something. 20%, that's right. So it just shows you, you know, what can happen. And we've got, you know, other results coming out today. A key one coming out from uh, uh, the Commonwealth Bank and also BHP. Commonwealth Bank's profits expected to be $4.2 So they're doing very well. It, we're, um, just to finish up, we're, we're, of course, you know, in the middle of the big profit reporting season and it's it's not proving as bad as everyone anticipated. No, that's, that's, that's right. So that's pretty much indicative of the fact the share yeah. market, I think, will keep moving forward. Rod, always good to see you. Thanks so much. Good. Thank you.